I cannot come from America, Sheikh Mufti Min, can, Mufti Min cannot come from, you know, uh, all of different places in the world. And they come and they sit here and they give you a dafs. We can only help a little bit. We can only help a little bit. The real change that will come in your child's life will come from you. Will come from you. رَبَّنَا حَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنَ And now let me talk to the sisters for a little bit. Sisters, you're stuck with your husband. Stop being angry. Accept it. And try to love your husband. Try to make your husband happy. Because believe me, if he gets even a little bit happy, you will be really happy. I'm telling you, right now you say, I'm angry, why should he be happy? I know you, I know. I've talked to enough of you, I know. He, he doesn't care about me, why should I care about him? And he thinks the same thing. She doesn't care about me, why should I care about her? You start. You be nice to him. You smile at him and he'll get, he'll get all shocked. Like, why are you smiling? <laughs> Who, wh- what? Is everything okay? <laughs> you know? Is your, is your mother here? Is that why, you know? <laughs> you know? Uh-uh. You have to be nice to your husband. You have to, don't dress up when you go to a wedding. Dress up for your husband. Even if you have four kids, it doesn't matter. Dress up for your husband. There's enough shaitan and fitna outside. So your husband should find beauty in you, not anywhere else. You, sh- you should, and you should be, co- you should compliment your wife. You should say nice things to your wife. You shouldn't just always complain, where are the keys? Where's the mail? Did you get the, did you get the groceries? Did you do this? Did you, oh, you didn't do anything. Oh, you don't listen to me. Stop, man. There's not enough salt. There's too much salt. There's not enough sugar. There's too much sugar. There's not hot enough. It's too hot. Stop. Stop. Say nice things to your wife. And I know if you're like Indian Pakistani, then it's very difficult for you. <laughs> I know. It's very hard to say nice things to your wife. In, in our culture, if you say nice things to your wife, your ribs hurt. Like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you know, so you have to immediately follow it up with something mean. You have to say something bad right after to balance the equation. You can't just say nice things. So if the food is really good, you're like, oh, I but I still hate your mother. It's like something. You have to... <laughs> You have to add something, <laughs> you know. But don't, try to be, this is the dua. We are asking Allah to give us so much happiness from our wife and our husband and our children that it makes us want to cry out of joy. How will that happen? You cannot ask Allah for something and not make any effort yourself. It doesn't work that way. You cannot say, رَبِّ جَعَلْنِي مُقِيمَ الصَّلَاةِ Ya Allah, make me establisher of the prayer. And you're sitting, lying down in bed, adhan's going on, you're like, رَبِّ جَعَلْنِي مُقِيمَ الصَّلَاةِ Allah is not gonna send you angels that carry you and lift you to the salat, and then they make you make ruku and get you back up. <laughs> you gotta get up yourself, man. You make dua and you make some effort yourself. You're not gonna make dua and all of a sudden your wife will start loving you. No, you have to show her love too. You have to do that, you have to make some effort in the house. I am telling you, this is the work of the ummah today, fixing the family.